Hey yo, what's poppin'? It's the King Hitman here, and we're gonna be showcasing LR Rose Goku Black's EZA. This is very good. I think he is very good. I think his offense is gonna be spectacular. I think his defense is completely being overlooked. So we're gonna see what he looks like in here. As you can see, support memory active. This is a really nice animate. I like the quality. It looks perfect. Like it's a really high quality moment. Anyway, leader skill is irrelevant, but let's go over the rest of his details. Let's put him four links, three links. I guess just put him in the middle. I mean, fear and faith. We do want to get this guy as much key as possible, even though it didn't matter much on this turn. Actually, wow. Oh, man. Merged might one shot, which actually, no, no. We might play this well, because if this triggers the way I think it will, and he doesn't one shot this Frieza, that'll set up the final blow, which we probably would have got anyway. But 6.3 shouldn't be enough, should it? Let's see. Perfect. Okay, I completely underrated this Frieza's health. Very good. All right, so... 19 mil off the first try oof chill bro chill chill like breathe easy please no you didn't i was about to i forgot guaranteed now all right cool so it's 12 key greatly raises defense for one turn colossal damage it has a medium chance to stun the enemy i don't know if i said that in my reaction video i don't remember that being there but it definitely wasn't there pretty easy eh? his 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for the one turn a mega colossal damage to the enemy we are going to play it yeah, I like that. This is good. We're going to play it like that. Now, anyway, he uh, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Mega Colossal on his Holy Light Grenade technique. His passive skill, the Test of Rage, he gets three key now. Attack and defense, 160%. That's a crazy jump for guys. He was at like 80%, right? Let me see. He was at 66%. Goodness. He gets attack and defense 8% each time his key goes up by one, up to 160%. According to Greg Dahl, the homie, he's saying, I, I can't remember, I didn't do the math, but that caps out at 22 key anyway. I think he said 22, or was it 21? I, I ain't gonna lie. Matter of fact, maybe I just shouldn't quote him. Let me see if it's in here. It's 20. Okay, it's 20. The maximum buff is a caps out at 20 key. Now, he gets three key when your key is 18 or more. He will launch a guaranteed additional super when your key is 22 or more. That's very convenient because that means you get him 19 key. He's basically going to double super. He's greatly raising his defense multiple times. Gives you a chance at that third uh, super attack. It gives you multiple different chances to crit. That is a very, very powerful ability that he has in there. So, don't overlook that at all, guys. It's very nice. We're going to... I mean, do I think this Goku Black is going to take damage? I do, but we're going to let him super attack just to see how hard we can make this guy hit on this rotation. It's whatever. I bought a TUR Goku Black. I didn't want to. I ain't going to lie. I didn't want to. But I had to make sure we had support. I had to make sure we had somebody that could activate Super Saiyan and all these extra links and consistently give him that. And it sucks that Frieza chose to super attack right there. Like, look at this, bro. Oh, man, my life is a horror movie. Anyway, Goku Black still has his finishing blow mechanic. I hate that mechanic, but it's not its not like it's crucial to his abilities, right? It could be worse. Upon EZA, it gives 6 key and a high chance to crit once you deliver it. He gets 6% HP when HP is 66 or above. He gets 6% HP after he has been hit. So it's easy enough to get 12 key on a lot of rotations. Remember the 6% when 66 or above, the way it's worded, it's clearly at the start of turn. And then the HP recovery for being hit is at the end of turn. So it's, it gets straightforward, right? We're not worried about it. Remember right now he does have the high chance and he is he's hitting very, very hard. I keep looking down and I'm seeing these attack stats, like glimpsing at him and he's hitting very hard. Now his awakening, his active skill, I should say, has not been changed upon EZA. Six turns, 66 or less percent HP. Not ideal. It's not ideal, but it is much better than it was before. And it's not like you'll never see it. I feel like as annoying as it is to put up with, it's not that you'll never see it. I'm going to be honest. It's just you won't see it often. I know that sounds crazy, right? But there is a difference between like, you know, for him, his rage mechanic being the giant form type ability, it is like Orange Piccolo. It'll make it so that you know, enemies' attacks are delayed or they use them on the rage mode and it won't work. Certain enemies can kind of bypass it because this only lasts one turn. If I remember, let me see if I can find it. 
Yeah, it's not. It doesn't last two or three turns. That's all I remember. Yeah, it lasts one turn. Okay, it still is guaranteed. It's only one turn. However, now it's greatly raising attack temporarily on his 12, massively raising attack temporarily on his 18. Both are destructive damage. Passive skill will give him six key automatically. So he is going to super attack every single time. He will get an additional two key per key sphere obtained, and he will get super effective against every typing. So it's legitimate damage. Like, it is. You know, there are going to be fair points where I think this is going to hit harder than Orange Piccolo's Rage Mechanic will, or I guess just Giant Form will. So it's a fair, like, that's not the worst thing ever. Oh, man, we're, that's, we're sitting on the 60. There's no way. There's no way. Hold on, bro. We're, there's no way we're sitting on the threshold the way we are. We are, bro. That's sick, man. Whatever. Anyway, Rosé's defense, 212k. I was about to say, that doesn't make sense. 265k. That's more like it. He's at max key already. He's very key efficient. He doesn't struggle for... I was trying to tell people this. Now, I know the support memory is up. It's giving him an additional key. But once you're at 20 key, it doesn't matter. It literally, it doesn't matter. Like You're going to get the additional super, which is all you care about. So you want to get to 19 or 20 key. And then you're sitting at 22, 23, 24 key. It, it's straightforward, just like that. And we did get the final blow, so we're getting an additional six. That's when you... He hits hard enough. I hate the final blow mechanic. If you know me, you know that. And I said I didn't want them to predicate his abilities on it. And they didn't, so I can appreciate that. If you know me, I hate it. But I have to say, the way he hits so incredibly hard, it almost makes it feasible to say you can get the final blow depending on what fight you're in like it's not completely irrational to think that of course now that he's guaranteed double supering when you get that key threshold it is gonna happen more often than it definitely did before because he was so aged out the issue is once he becomes a floater like if he's a float he's gonna want to be in slot two or three you cannot put this guy in slot one but if he becomes a floater over time, it's just going to simply take away from his ability to actually hit the enemy. Like, you're going to be hitting it so consistently hard as units get better and teams get better and he gets worse. He's not going to be able to get it. And him getting the final blow will compensate for the damage that, like, eventually his only purpose will probably be damage, right? His damage and his links and his maybe his rage mode, depending on how the game goes. It'll get to a point where that's all you care about. But with him having all of this, hmm... Him having these like niche traits while hitting so incredibly hard, it might give him viability to like live a little longer than certain units that have these stupid final blow mechanics. Because the STR Rose had it and it was incredibly dumb. I hate that on him and he needs it so bad. It's not the same case with this guy. I really feel that way. It's not as bad. Now, I think we've done enough. I mean, you guys see him, right? It's, the whole thing is damage, damage, damage. His defense is well around a million, if not higher. It's definitely higher on certain turns, but his defense is sitting around a million if he were to triple super attack. When he double supers, he's like barely skimming it. He should be at like 980k if i remember the calcs correctly it depends on who his linking partner is too but you guys know he's a big bad boss's unit right he does have incredible links because he is a rosés just get crazy links like they get the wildest stuff all right so he does have big bad bosses we love that for him but yeah i'm gonna leave that there i think you guys have seen his value i think you guys like what he is i'm hoping you guys like what he is let me see how you guys feel about it he does come out tonight on global so it is the young king hitman and hitman is off this.